artwork really reflects Dumbo and Brooklyn and, uh, in its visual language. Part of the, uh, the superpower of the artwork has always been that it adapts itself kind of to its geography. Specific artworks are built for specific locations. I go and build a whole kind of graphic language out of the textures of the neighborhood. And for example, with this piece, um, we looked at kind of the traditional sort of factory spaces that were around here. And I'm really familiar with them because I had studios in Brooklyn for a long time. And so it's like things like the different patterns that we see on the pressed metal ceilings of, of these industrial buildings. We would take those old uh, textures and build our graphics out of them. There's almost an infinite texture to the city and, and we captured a fraction of it. These kind of large installation sculptures come out of landscape-based abstraction. And this piece, obviously, you know, we're employing real literal gestures of grass and water. And we wanted to capture the sense of kind of the water being just a handful of blocks away and kind of the Brooklyn-ness of the artwork to the kind of natural environment, which is so such an important kind of component of of where we are. The materials of the artwork are materials that I've been working with for a long time. So what are essentially kites, but they're kind of like heavy duty super kites. And in the 90s, I started using, they're like uh, heat form bamboo, in this case, ellipses. All the graphics uh, are really refined prints on rice paper that then we soak in resin and we suspend in these kite frames. It's interesting to come here and see the absolute transformation of the neighborhood into something that I don't think any of us could have imagined, you know, in the late 90s could have existed down here. You know, I spent working, living and working in Brooklyn for, you know, a long time. I met my wife in Brooklyn. It's also a space that greets the street in a very specific way and it greets residents in another way. Um, and we wanted the artwork to be able to speak to those two audiences really distinctly. What's great about this particular space is that um, it's this bridge to this kind of historic neighborhood and this new building and, and it looks, it's got this spectacular view out the front which is like super iconic New York City. The opportunity was to create this kind of sculpture in this space that was almost a visual sculptural bridge between the building and the neighborhood. And I think the artwork, it's kind of evergreen, it reflects kind of more than just a single moment, it reflects kind of a kind of an architectural historical moment.